And our first guest tonight is a podcasting juggernaut. He rules the mighty armchair expert empire. His newest audio delight is called F1 with DRS. Please say hello to Dak Shepard. <laughs> Thank you look you. great, except for what happened at the bottom there. It's like you ran out of steam on dressing up. <laughs> with the shoes? Yeah, with the shoes. You're yeah, like... I phoned it in with the shoes. Here's what I told myself to lie. I'm like, similar fabric. <laughs> <laughs> right? I thought because the suit was kind of whatever fabric this is, I could pull that off. I but... like all the filth on the bottom of the shoe, too. That's, not... that's a nice yeah. touch. Yes. It's not a new pair of shoes. Look, it... I'm going to tell you the truth about my whole suit wardrobe, which okay. is... I've never purchased a suit in my life. Never bowl. No, I just get them when I work. Like, I hosted a game show three years ago. They bought me nine suits. Mm -hmm. I've gained 25 pounds since then. Mm -hmm. None of them fit. I don't know where to get a suit. They, they shut down the Sears by my house like 13 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Target? I don't know. Where would I even go? This, I'll show you. I'll let you in on a little secret. OK. So this is my kid's friendship bracelet rubber band. That's the only way I can wear this shirt, because my neck doesn't fit or the veins will pop. Because you're, I have to tell you something. We had Arnold Schwarzenegger here on the show Monday, and I think you're still the most muscular guest of the week. <laughs> Does he have any shirts he would like to loan me? I bet you he's got a ton of shirts he could give you. He's got to. That yeah. guy's, he's loaded. You love him, right? I love him so much. Did you yeah. see the doc on him? Yeah, yeah. Truly a beautiful doc. I love him on all the levels. He's, you know, what grew up watching him blast people to death in every movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but as you know, I got to ride motorcycles with him when he was still the governor. I got invited on this motorcycle riding Sunday morning. I remember morning that. Riding. You had like a time where you were like hanging out with the governor. <laughs> yes. I don't know why that ended, but, but we'll get there. Uh -huh. um, so I go on this motorcycle riding thing. It ends at, a, at a, a breakfast spot, and we're all eating breakfast, and it's a group of like 10 guys. And I go to the bathroom. When I come back, he goes, um, you know, Dax, I've seen you without a paddle, and I've seen the pond. You're hilarious. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so happy. I've been on TV for five minutes, and he seems to know everything I've done. So we leave the restaurant, and I say to Tom Arnold, who's also there, can you believe Schwarzenegger's like seen all my stuff? He goes, buddy, as soon as you went to the bathroom, he's like, who the hell is this guy? <laughs> so at this breakfast, I had done arrogantly my impersonation of him, as you should do the first time you meet him. Uh -huh. Or anyone, really. Yeah. <laughs> anyone, yeah. yeah. It's a great icebreaker. <laughs> um, so I get a call a week later. And it's sincerely, it's like, will you please hold for the governor? And I think, someone's messing with me. There's no way they, and sure enough, it's like, hello, Dax. How are you doing? I had such a good time having breakfast with you. I really enjoyed you doing the impersonation of me. You know, I'm going to be doing some events and I'd love for you to bring me out on stage and do the impersonation. And I go, well, Arnold, you're a Republican and I'm a libertarian at the time I was. Uh huh. Not anymore, anyways. <laughs> I go, I'm a libertarian, he goes, me too. <laughs> I swear to God. And I go, all right, all right, let's do it. So then I started going to, I guess, Republican fundraisers, and I would bring him out on stage, and that was going really well. And then at a certain point, he called, and he's like, Dax, I'm going to raise some money. I'm going to do a roast of myself. I want you to present and make fun of me. It's going to be great. And I'm like, OK. So I take his book, which I had read, uh, Education of a Bodybuilder, 1968, and I had read it. And so my only roast of him was to get on stage and read verbatim what's written in this book. Because <laughs> there is a chapter about he and his best friend Franco lifting weights in the woods in Germany naked. He and mentioned Franco, yeah. He it, loves yeah. Franco. That's yeah. another sweet part of him. So I'm reading it out loud, and I'm like, we would go out and in the woods for hours, naked, <laughs> lifting weights and drinking red wine and eating raw meat like gladiators from a bygone era. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> my take was, it's not even metaphorical now. You guys are banging in the woods. <laughs> like you're, 
<laughs> You're naked drinking red wine and eating raw meat. Wow. The Romans, well, I'm Greek, we know what they did. Did he wonder why people were laughing at his autobiography? This is the best part of him, and it's his superpower. He came up on stage, and he goes, oh, that was great. You know, that really was a great way to get the pump. <laughs> <laughs> Sincerely. Everything's positive. That's his gift. Everything's positive. So I got to spend all this time with him, and then eventually, I'd say maybe the zenith of the experience was he invited me to his house to watch a movie in, like, his movie theater. Okay. So I go up there. It's incredible. He opens the door. He's in a robe, like a terry cloth robe with his initials on it. Awesome. Maria's there. The children are there. Uh -huh. I'm there somehow. <laughs> Going and watch this movie that's like still in the theaters. I can't remember what it was. He sat in the front row, and about six minutes into the program, he goes out cold. Uh, uh, and he, sleep, he sleeps through the whole movie, wakes up with like six minutes left. Uh, movie ends, he's like, What well, a film, did you see that? <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> he's positive. He's just a dad. He's like, I was like, Oh. My hero's also a dad, <laughs> sleeping through the entire Has movie. Has he been on your podcast? No. Is, How can that be? My, no. Although you really don't need him. You could just do him yeah, the whole time. I might have him on. <laughs> <laughs> Dak Shepard is with us. He's my armchair expert. We'll be right back. We are back with Dak Shepard. His podcast is The Armchair Expert. Most Americans have maybe one, maybe two podcasts. You've got how many now? I'm on four a week. Four a week. <laughs> yeah. Let's go through them real quick. The, the, is, the, is the quality suffering? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Was it better when I did one? You bet. <laughs> the new one's about Formula One racing. Formula One. I did that thing I bet happens to a lot of people, which is like, I love talking about Formula One. I mm -hmm. should have a podcast about it. And here we are. And we talk about Formula One about 10 of the hour that it goes on. I see. We rarely get to Formula One. So there's, oh, so most of it's not about Formula One? No, no. This oh. week we talked about prostate health. <laughs> really? I heard a disturbing thing on the way in to record it. And oh. I was upset. Yeah. And that's it. You You're off. supposed to be having a lot of evacuations. No, that's not the right word. You know what you need to have a lot of in a month to protect your prostate. Is that, I'm wow. not having enough of those. You're I got not. very scared that I'm vulnerable. Oh, wow. What's yeah. the number? 20. 20? 20. 20 a month. Really? 20 a That's month? That's too much. You hear that, Guillermo? Yeah, uh, I do, yeah. yeah. I think it's too much. I would have thought you were going to say that's not enough. That was going to be my guess, given the story I heard. He doesn't even we know what we're talking about. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the podcast can be about whatever. It's you and a few friends yeah, talking about this three good kind of friends, stuff. and we talk about four. You one. had a great, great interview with David Letterman. I was on your podcast, and we were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Um, you were incredible with, on it, by the way. Well, we, I had a lot of fun. It was always fun with you. But um, David Letterman, and one of the things about your podcast is you do it at your house. That's right. Which means David Letterman comes to your house. Yes. He came to my house. And, you know, I was very nervous. Uh, he's my and your hero. Right, we, like, sure. worship him. And so I was sitting in the house kind of just patiently awaiting Dave Letterman to come by. And the car pulled into the driveway. And we're having a garage built. Um, and there were maybe eight workers in the garage that were taking their lunch break. And I see the car pull up, and then Dave, you know, he gets out of the car in that very Dave way, and he just kind of like looks around. <laughs> and then he just walks to the garage. He goes straight into the garage where the guys are eating, and he goes, Gang, you've done a great job. Let's all knock off early for the day. <laughs> 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 and and then he turned around and strolled out of there. And I was like, this And is did a the guys take that seriously and go home? Fortunately, there was a language barrier. OK, great. OK, great. <laughs> I think they were just like, they knew that bearded man was Dave Letterman. And he just said something to them. <laughs> so everyone was tickled. This is your time of year in the neighborhood, because you do something very um, generous and very unusual in your neighborhood every Halloween. Yeah. I'm not going to pretend we don't live in a nice neighborhood. We mm -hmm. live in a very nice neighborhood with mm -hmm. very proper people. And we're straight hillbillies from Michigan. So oh, big thing in Michigan is you got to go on a hayride for Halloween. So I have been hosting, this will be the fourth year, a hayride through the neighborhood uh, during Halloween, during trick-or-treating. 
And everyone's so charmed by this because they they don't know anyone that can tow a trailer, much less do a hay ride. So you get a trailer, you uh -huh. fill it fill with a hay. Full of hay. I got music blasting. There's lights. You know, the neighborhood's tight. The, everyone's back there. I'm doing U-turns. They are blown away. <laughs> the whole thing has resulted in they're so tolerant of me and my daughters riding dirt bikes through this very nice neighborhood. Because they appreciate We're in dune buggies. We're, uh, we're on dirt bikes. Uh, we're breaking all the HOA laws. We have a bus parked in front of the house. Yes. You're not allowed to have that. You're not. But it's this hayride has totally gotten us carte blanche there. And you so, just drive around, pick people up. They jump on, and they ride around the neighborhood. That's right. And in fact, the people, obviously, they're in costume. And so there's other fancy people. That live. I've interviewed people, and they've said, hey, I had a great time on your hayride. I'm like, you're on my hayride? Well, yeah, I was dressed as a ghoul, but like Kristen Stewart. It was her. She was? I've had celebrities on the hayride <laughs> and not, not known. <laughs> Natalie Portman was on the hayride. Is that right? Yes. They just jump on, you drive them around, you drop them off. They think they've teleported to a different state or something. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. does sound like that. Yeah, yeah, it's really out of the ordinary for yeah. that Yeah, and you don't, you don't race other hayrides or anything like that, do oh, you? Oh, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> if there's another neighbor who thinks they can duel me in what the alley. What if somebody were to set up a competing hayride in your neighborhood? The, Ooh, I, I can only think of one person who might do that. There'd be blood in the streets. Here, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who would do that? Well, you know I would. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, I might start prowling your neighborhood. This is, <laughs> hey, good. Take, take some of the, around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's nobody out there. Well, it's great to have you here. Oh, um, it's a pleasure. Congratulations on all the success of the podcast. Mm -hmm. I know it is available on uh, all platforms. Anywhere you would listen to a podcast, you can listen to anything in the Armchair Universe. Uh, F1, it's all there. Give my best to Kristen and Monica and everyone in your life. I will. Please That's, tell Molly I, I well, miss Well, she's her. right there. You can yeah, tell her. Dak Shepard, everybody. <laughs> uh, we'll be back with Nicole Avon. Hold on,